Throughout this course, we're going to use a number of penetration testing tools. You can try and install each of these tools manually, or you can do what most pen, pen testers do, including myself, and use an operating system designed for pen testers. So we're gonna use an operating system called Kali, which is based on Linux on Debian. So it's just a flavor of a normal Linux operating system. The only difference is it comes in with most of the tools that we need to use pre-installed and configured correctly. So it makes our life so much easier. You have two options to install Kali. You can install it as a virtual machine. So you can install it inside your main machine and access it through it. And this way, there's no way you can mess up. There's no way you can mess, mess up your hard drive or your current installation. And it works just as efficient as a main machine. Or you can install it as a main machine using the ISO image. If you chose to install it as a virtual machine, I'm actually gonna be using it as a virtual machine myself then all you need to do is download it from their website and they actually have pre-built versions for Kali Linux. So you won't actually need to install anything. Let's go to the link and have a look. You'll see that you have pre-built versions. Now there is two main virtualization software. There is VMware and VirtualBox. I'm gonna be using VirtualBox myself. You can use any of them, whichever suits you. So all you have to do is click on the one on the virtual software that you're using and download the one related to you. So if your processor is a 32-bit, download the 32-bit. If your processor is a 64-bit, then download this one. Now, but I've already downloaded this one and I've already downloaded VirtualBox. It's very easy to download and install. All you have to do is Google VirtualBox and then go through the installation steps, next, 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 and it's installed. And VirtualBox runs with Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, so it runs on everything. Now I have VirtualBox downloaded, and I have this downloaded as well. And once you download the Kali image, you'll see this. So this is actually, you'll actually see this first, which is Kali Linux, the 7-zip, a compressed version of it. Uncompress it, you'll see this, the OVA file. And then all you have to do is just double click it. Now, when I double click it, you'll see it's actually gonna create a virtual machine for me. And if I wanna install this or import it, really, I don't need to install anything. I'm just gonna click on import. Okay, so it's been imported for me. And if I click here, I actually already have Kali installed there. Uh, but if you click it there, you'll see this is the machine that just have been imported. And you can go on the settings here and modify the settings as you want. Now the main things that you might want to modify is the system. And you can modify the amount of RAM in here. And you can modify the number of processors. I'm just gonna keep this the same, it's all good. And also you might need to modify the network. I'm gonna be using a NAT network as the default, but if we change anything, we'll show you how to do that. Now you can just click on start and that will start the virtual machine for you. We're not gonna be talking about how you use this virtual machine in future videos. We're gonna talk how to use it and the programs that we're gonna be dealing with. But at the moment, we're just gonna take it as it is. And now this is Kali Linux installed for you. If you wanna log in, the username is root and the password is T-O-O-R, so tour. And that's it, we're logged in and we're ready to use it. Now in the next video, I'm actually gonna explain how to install Kali Linux as an ISO. If you're happy enough with using it like this, I'm gonna be using it like this, so there's no differences. It's a proper, properly installed installation and you can use it this way per perfectly. But in the next video, I'm just gonna show how to install it as an ISO in case you had a problem with running it like this or if you want to install it as a main machine. So if this is working for you, skip the next video and go to the one after that.